The National Security Special Advisor, Dr. Sidney Mufamadi, says there's a process underway to address allegations that South Africa sold weapons to Russia. Mufamadi held a virtual media briefing following his recent trip to the United States. He was President Cyril Ramaphosa's special envoy that led a delegation to the United States House of Representatives calling on President Joe Biden to review America's relations with South Africa. What the president is intending to do in this regard is not without precedent. You will remember the, uh, the erstwhile uh, chief of the defense force, George Mayring. George Mayring approached the president of the time, Nelson Mandela, and gave him a document containing what he said was intelligence information about a number of people who were plotting to um, carry out a coup against President Mandela's government. Uh, they included uh, his own deputy, uh, uh, um, uh, George Bering's deputies, General Spiwenyanda, and others. And uh, President Mandela appointed a retired judge uh, the rest is history. Uh, he's competent, that retired judge, to to weigh this uh, reported uh, uh, intelligence against other sources which he is competent to to invite people connected with those sources to give him information. Uh, to see if the information that was given to President Mandela can be confirmed or deconfirmed. So the president is not a, an omnipotent being who just gets information and decides what to do. He has to uh, try to act with the benefit of the input and advice of competent persons. And so this information is critical. It's critical, I am sure, uh, its criticality justifies uh, uh, the appointment of a retired judge uh, and not um, to take a position which says, let's save money uh, by asking the president to sit uh, at his house and uh, dis decide what to do with the uh, to do after he has read the information given to him all right sabc news reporter kylie Tlekomalo joins me for more on that media briefing by dr mufumari kylie the national security advisor says south africa is actively non-aligned in the russia ukraine conflict well, very much so. So the National Security Advisor, uh, Sidney Mufamada, really speaking comprehensively about, uh, you know, the encounters that they had in Washington, D.C. with their counterpart, but also really defending South Africa's position. But also one of the very particular examples that he used was that when they were right in the U.S., when they were engaging with uh, the, the U.S. officials, one of them really was trying to canvas so hard for South Africa, you know, that a go is due for for renewal, so a very important trade instrument mm -hmm. between the US and South Africa. But also he really went at length about the South Africa's position, where it's really coming from, but also talking about uh, making sure that uh, this particular relationship with the US is actively and also delicately managed by in the interest of these two nations. Um, that issue of the importance of the relationship has come up quite a lot, even online, Clayson and Munyala saying they want to put the issue to uh, the issue of the ambassador, there has been discussions, there's been an apology, even though we haven't seen it online, uh, there has been an apology that's been recorded and the countries have this good relationship and they want to continue it and kind of move on from this incident. Is that the sense that you also got from that briefing? I think the implications are going to be very far reaching because 
this is going to be an ongoing issue, especially because uh, as much as, you know, we know that when you look at the US and South Africa, they talk about uh, this very comprehensive partnership, you know, in terms of trade, in terms of PEPFA, fighting HIV and AIDS, but also in terms of tourism as well, where you have quite a significant stream of American tourists coming to South Africa. So I think there'll be quite a lot happening behind the scenes between the two nations, especially because the, there was an opportunity for um, these two nations really to look at this issue of uh, Lady R a vessel from Russia that had docked mm. in, in Simon's town in Cape Town. So that was a very main issue that really, you know, will continue to be a very big one, especially in light of the inquiry that has been established. But once again, Mr. Mofamadi defending government stance in terms of establishment of this inquiry, saying it's a right way to, 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 to do things, especially given the very gravity of these allegations. But they still stand by their position that the very remarks that were made by the U.S. Ambassador Brigadi are totally unfounded. But of course, it's going to be a massive responsibility for the inquiry to establish if South Africa really sold these arms or not. Mm -hmm. And he said that he has briefed the president. Any insight into what happened there? Very much so, especially because they were sent by the president to the U.S. Uh, to explain South Africa's position in as far as Russia, Ukraine war is concerned. Uh, and we do know of South Africa's proximity with Russia from time to time. It is, uh, you know, just uh, causes consternation to, to quote him, really use that word quite extensively to say the consternation, but they really want to address this issue because uh, for the longest time, you know, you look at South Africa's uh, pattern in terms of the voting, uh, the UN General Assembly, they've not really been siding with the US, they've been very independent in their approach, but also they do say that, you know, they should not just let this incident to sort of really just uh, discolor this profound relationship Relationship that they do have, they should continue to work in so many aspects. Mm -hmm. Kailise, when, when this issue is being disseminated in the public space, it's not just about uh, something that was said now when it comes to the United States and how things are said by perhaps the ambassador in South Africa. There's also been the incident in October that was referred to when there was a, a allegedly a terrorism scare and the manner in which that was done. Did, he, did Dr. Mofamari touch on the the relationship and the manner in which perhaps things should be managed or is that outside the purview of his role? Mm. I think really also they had uh, the Director General of International Relations, uh, Mr. Dango, and he really said that one of uh, the reasons why they want to recalibrate, again, the word that they used, they recalibrate the bilateral relations between South Africa and the US is because of these concerns, that these relationship, it's not in a very good position, so they should try and fix it, especially because South Africa and the US, they do work together in so many issues, mm -hmm. you know, whether you're looking at people peace and security in the continent and many other aspects as well. Especially we do know that with the BRICS summits coming up here in South Africa, Americans will once again keep a very close eye in, right in our shores. Kylie Tlekomano, I know you'll be following those developments and keeping us updated. Thanks so much for your time.